I'm the author of the Bikini Model Cookbook and also the owner of Bikini Fit Fitness. Today's workout is uh, an awesome arms workout. All right, so this is how we're gonna get started. We're gonna do 10 rounds, two exercises, preacher curls and hammer curls for at home, 10 reps each. So you wanna pick a weight that maybe is a little lighter than what you normally lift just because it's pretty, it's gonna be pretty intense after 10, 100 reps. All right, so starting the timer now. All right, so I'm gonna grab these uh, eight pound weights is what I'm using to start and it's up for two, down for two, that's one. Two, and you can like stretch up too. As long as your arms are the ones that are inclined, that's all that really matters. Three, four, not six, seven. You can also like crunch into it and be like bent over kind of just hover your arms, kind of like straddling the ball. Um, I think that is, uh, I kind of lost count, we'll call that 10. All right, so, Probably gonna get an imprint of the mall in my tummy. Okay, so um, I think if I stand up, I might get cut off on the video, so I'm just gonna stay right here and I'll show you, and it'll probably be faster this way. But um, you can do a hammer curl. Uh, the app gym option is to uh, do the, the chin ups, the narrow grips that really targets your biceps. So 10 of those, I show that at the end of the video. For now, these are the hammer curls. So that's one, two, All right, now maybe um, just really focus when you're doing this exercise on keeping your core tight. You know, you can always work the abs at any time. You don't have to be working them too hard or anything, but just be aware of having a tight core and up for two, down for two. So that was 10. All right, back to this. Uh, I'm gonna grab my chair really quick and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm going to use a blanket just for some padding. So you can use the back of the couch, but the way that my couches are isn't really all that good for, for what I'm doing. But see how you can, you can get that incline effect just by doing this. So I'm going to grab my weights again and you can just have it like this. Because the goal is to get that kind of an incline um, leverage. It makes it a lot harder. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you might find it helpful to have a little notebook so that every time you finish, oops, I'm just gonna move this up to the side. Every time that you finish a, a round, you remember, because like this is my second round, I'm like halfway through it, so it kind of gets a little bit confusing. And <laughs> you can easily get lost in your workout. But anyway, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now I'm gonna go back to this. This is the incline, you can do a preacher curl or you can do the incline with the chair or the bench. All right, let's go again. So this is gonna be the third round. We're going into the third round, so that's one, two, Obviously, the further you go this way, the harder it'll be. The more you go this way, that it's kind of making it a little bit easier. So try and remember, I just noticed that, that this definitely felt harder. So it's the uh, the angle of the way that the, the arm is, is placed, which will make it more or less hard. So back to the hammer curls. That's one, two, three. I'm gonna count on my fingers. So basically go up for two and down for two. You know, this isn't a race. This isn't like about how fast you can get through the challenge. This is about your workout, you know? Like this is how hard are you working? Um, it's your body. Everybody's different. Somebody wants to go through it really fast, that's fine. But 
Um, I'm recommending going up for two, down for two. And I think this is 10. I might have cheated and gone too long or too little. All right, so that's the third round. We have seven more to go. All right, back to the incline creature or ball curls. So that's up for two, down for two. That's two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is the fourth round. I'm gonna keep on talking through it, otherwise I'll get lost in where I'm at with the workout. It's okay to take little breaks. You might need to take more, you might need to take less, but just remember to get through the rounds. So this is the fourth round of the hammer curls. <laughs> it's hard, I'm not, I'm all not even halfway through and I'm already, Breathing super heavy, so it's that's three and four, five, six. Um, the at home option is definitely easier than the chin ups at the gym, I find, but you know, it's all dependent. I think I'm gonna do one more, I might have gone a little over, so that's done the fourth. So we're going into the fifth round now. Um, at the gym, the chin-ups are a lot harder, I find. Um, I'll talk to you more about that at the end. But it's up for two, down for two. That's three. You wanna hold your abs in tight. You do neck and line with the rest of your body. fifth round of those, and then we're gonna go into the fifth round of these. I'm not sure where my time's at, I'm taking a little break and gonna just take a peek quick. My arms are on fire. Okay, so that's like seven minutes in. So, we got up for two, down for two. So this is the fifth round, so we're almost halfway done. That's three, and four, and five. I like doing these back blasting workouts once to twice a week. Um, I like to work at more of an intermediate level. Sometimes I'll push up to the advanced level if I am, you know, getting ready for a photo shoot or something and I really need to lean out. I kind of like to keep it at intermediate just for like a lifestyle for myself because I don't know, I don't like to push myself too hard all the time, but it's totally your option. If you want to go hard, go hard. If you want to go light, pull it back. All right, I kind of lost count, but I'm pretty sure that's 10. All right, so we're halfway done, yay! All right, um, I'm gonna grab this chair again just to mix it up because I'm getting kind of bored. So, <laughs> back to the incline curls with this. And, oh, this thing got my, I got something in my fingernail. All right, so back to the incline curls using the chair technique. So it's up for two. You wanna hold your abs in tight here as well. So this is the sixth round, that's number three. Four, five, six. This is kind of nice because you're kind of in a little mini squat at the same time. It's a little harder. And seven, and eight, and nine. And I kind of like this incline better. So that's ten of those. And then I'm just going to sit down right here. So you don't have to be standing for that. So that's one, and two. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight <laughs> and nine. Are you feeling the burn? And ten. Okay, so that's the sixth round. We're gonna go into the seventh round quickly. And one and two and three. Feel free to take breaks if you need to. And four. Five, make sure to challenge yourself. And six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Okay, so that's the seventh round. And the seventh round of the hammer curls, yay! You never knew you loved hammer curls so much until today. That's two, and three, and four, 
three and four and five. Make sure you take water breaks if you need to. I'm starting to get pretty thirsty. I can take a little quick break. And six, seven. Don't forget up for two, down for two. Once you start getting into it, it starts to um, you start to get a little weaker. But you might just need to take a little mini break. That's okay too. Just listen to your body. Don't push yourself too hard. Make sure to push yourself, you know, challenge yourself, but keep note of how you're feeling. It's really important. All right, so this is the eighth round. We got one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. It's important to keep your hands uh, facing up towards the ceiling. That's ten, just for the variation between the hammer curl and the incline supinated curl. And we're back to the hammer curls. It's the eighth round. That's up for two. Down for two. And three. And four. How are you feeling? Are you feeling the biceps burning yet?
creature girl. You can do um, a dumbbell or a barbell as shown in this picture. And that can speed things up a little bit. Or if you want, you can do the dumbbell curls um, pretty much as shown in the video. It's very similar. Um, it just has the incline bench. And that is the creature girl. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome workouts to come. I'm gonna be um, updating the workouts every Wednesday and uh, check out the website for my cookbook, the Bikini Mall cookbook. I'm gonna be putting links below the video. You can also grab my free grocery guide. So go to the website, get the grocery guide and I can't wait to see you next week. One more thing, this photograph is from my friend and photographer, Basco Photography. He's in the Toronto area. From this photo shoot, we got the cover of Ultra Fit Magazine. So it's awesome. You have to check him out.